hey guys today I'm going to do a review to sharing with you all on my installations on the Android player on my Peugeot 508 so before that let me share with you I believe a lot of you have the same problem with me is that our car doesn't come with reverse camera and also some latest features on the on the player so recently i saw some of our members are uh, installing the android player so i will say okay why not give me a try so i will install it so today i just want to share with you all uh, what's actually function can be used right on our original function such as this all these kind of buttons right all these kind of button everything and also the button on here okay first of all let's see those button on these panels okay actually is linked okay no problem on it okay you can see the channels one two three four five six okay it's all connected and of course the volume okay so i believe that the sound system is also connected with our jbl so no issue on the jbl sound system okay and of course you also can using all these kind of function but the function but might be different with originals uh, examples if you put source it's actually it's a mute right uh, then you you press this function then it's changed to uh, GPS go back all right radio okay so uh, this function is go back to the main menu and then what about this function it's a mute as well uh, okay so now you have two mute function so probably one is for driver one is for passenger then next is the aircon so aircon also no problem is connected so you can see it's connected let's try the volume yeah no problem it show the volume here okay and also the temperature okay volume all right no issue okay next let's find out the button on the steering yeah okay so volume button and want to get your business heard no problem and we'll tell you what to do in just a bit some of the words you use mute yes no problem how about this oh this not function because this one is connected with our center screen huh? so nothing related to the android player so what about this Oh yes, it's actually linked to the station, radio station. And what about this? Yeah, it's changed to GPS. And also music. And also video. Oh, actually it's changing the functions inside the Android Auto. All right for this function yeah then what about this function okay no is actually come back to the main menu uh, this one is also same is go to the gps navigation the only function that cannot be used on our original setting are uh, this all this function is no longer 
can be used too bad okay so it doesn't have any function when you touch the navigations or radios or this button nothing nothing eh? no function so it's meaning that you cannot use this to make a call to switch to navigations radio because i believe the built-in navigation is actually connected to our original uh, screen so since we already changed to android so of course this cannot be used if we switch on the headlamp yeah you show here okay close so if i will release our uh, parking brake okay uh, let me show you if you release our parking brake yeah it show here so interesting all these function can be used okay let's just see what you have inside this android auto so basically the function is almost similar with our phone Okay, we have those all setting music navigation video radio okay so if you want, like to go to radio then here is it then the main menu button all right then you also can do some setting here the brightness then you connect to the hotspot bluetooth etc okay then if you want to go to the other function uh, then you have all these function that you can actually download the apps okay so you have facebook uh papago maps gps video youtube okay example let's say you want to go to youtube okay so it's as normal as our phone function this car also come with the usb cable external which located at here okay they have two usb cable so you just plug your usb and it's supported mp3 and mp4 so example this is with this is an mp4 you just go to video okay and then you choose the usb and then you choose the song that you want and here you go okay, enlarge it Okay, now let's we check on the reverse camera. Yeah, you can see the reverse camera is actually the ultra high definition quality with line provided and also the the photo that show the sensor. Okay, so let's check on the front sensor. Okay, it's actually send the front sensor. I will move the car a bit in. Yeah, you can see. Right, if the car is moved in close to the object, it will start to show uh, the warning. Okay, let's see the reverse. So the actually reverse sound is come with original our car and also the sound come from the player. So you actually can listen two different sound. Okay, uh, this is the line. Hey guys, I think that's the end on my sharing on this review. So if you would like to know more about these installations, you can check on my descriptions. I will share the seller information. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.